Alright. So I think everything is has a lot today. So I can probably do everything. Oh, that's in people too. Whatever first. Oh. Time to go. Add Astro. Okay, those are pretty. Okay, so the quest. Is that a sequel to the Pokemon quest? Installed there. Uh, let's go take a look at it, shall we? Ah, that's the girl I left my I don't remember my mushroom with. Uh, Golden Comet is a super companion. We meet again. Mm, as spirited as ever, I see. Uh, you look quite surprised yourself. Hania, a Balfour. Too. Uh, thanks for running into both of you here. Well, back to the point then. Uh, what are the two of you doing here? If Pamela still remembers correctly, this was where we could get those four jellies. Oh, yeah, there was that. Uh, our two great heroes, your voices alone swell my confidence greatly. Well then, I shall proceed to give my report on the results of our work. Previously, the two of you declared that the, the Lotpala Cup Beast Tamers tournament should be suspended for a time while the Academy improves the design of the Wisdom Orb. I believe the two of you are still waiting for notice concerning that. Yeah, that's right. Leila Sino or the researchers responsible should inform us if there's any progress, right? Not that you understand their technical jargon much. Not that I'd have a lot of suggestions for them. Well, that's kind of how it is. We wouldn't be much help. We'd probably hinder them, really. Uh, how meticulous, how forbearing of you. I, for one, first could bring them over with excitement when I consider the great scheme, the great scenes from the previous tournament. So I attempted to ask some of the related academy staff recently and got some details. At present, improvements on the Wisdom Orb are still being put through theoretical stages. In other words, any practical production will take some time yet. However, the once heated discussion around the first iterations of the event are decreasing by the day, and the tournament itself is being forgotten, even if slowly. We cannot allow the influence of the previous vein to be wasted. As such, I've teamed up with Miss Henya here to organize a thematic event. What does thematic event mean exactly? Is that what these fungus shaped pieces on the table are for? Hmm. 
<laughs> didn't even notice. Uh, that's right. Mr. Four has been looking for sponsors as part of organizing the next tournament. And he has even sought to learn some marketing skills from Liu. While doing that, he encountered a certain game known as Theater Mechanicus. Subsequently, he bought the summer franchising rights for the game and put together an all-new game with, this, with me as a consultant. We call it Fungus Mechanicus. Hmm. Fungus Mechanicus, huh? Let me guess. So, are we gonna take command of take command of various shrooms to duke it out with some machines? Huh, you are indeed insightful, Silver Companion. Got it in one. It is my belief that this game is easy to understand and promote. It has great potential that is worth exploring. If we can successfully market it as a spin-off to the Beast Tamers tournament, we can you know, allow the later to stick in people's mind and in the long term. That way, the next tournament we hold will attract a larger audience and a larger pool of contestants. Of course, this can only go ahead with your permission. Or, after all, you have the final say on how the tournament will be organized. Oh yeah, we are kind of like the the head of the tournament now. I think it's worth a shot. You really worked hard at this, haven't you? Well, neither Ames or Paimon really know all that much about doing business, but final things, you got a good point there about for. You and Hania have been working on this together. Paimon believes in the two of you, so go right ahead. We haven't played the game yet, but Paimon bets that loads of people will love it. Wonderful, since the two of you have agreed, I can go ahead and promote Fungus Mechanicus. This game is in its testing stages at the moment, so we still need to invite people to play test it and collect their feedback so that we can make further improvements. And I'm sure that you, who will surely encounter all manner of popular games throughout the world, will come up with best suggestions of them all. Let's do it. Uh, this, will, this is one of your strongest points after all. Why do I get a feeling that you're recommending me to? Alright, go in comments about to strike. Uh, but before that, Paimon's got a question for you, can you? Let me to ask about Bongo Head, that was it. And the others. That's right, Paimon misses our shroom buddies. How are they doing? Don't you worry, they're doing great. And living carefree as can be, too. Uh, really, really, and Blizzara, Blitzara are currently staying at my temporary residence in Northern Port Ormus. Oh, so if I go to Northern Port Ormus, can I find them? One of the previous contest contestants is taking care of them. Uh, Bobo Head and Kindle Joy are nearby. If you like Super Companion, you can go play with them. Nearby, you say? Well, then, Ignis, I will go look for Bongo Head while you play test later, alright? Off you go, off you go. Oh, she did. Well, then, let's not lose any time. Come, go and come. The early test build for of Fungus Mechanic is ready for you. Okay, or the trial. The most basic challenge in Fungus Mechanics learn the fundamentals of this game through a clear and simple match. What's that? Archive Mechanics. Oh. A little Fungus based on Mongol Heads. Partner of the Golden Community was part of the team of the original place. Uh, Specializing in Spider and perform a large area of tech review uh, exceedingly well. Event Bags, name Suka, for the organizing staff. Ah, name based. Wobblings. Ah, they all will have different names. Ah, okay, I think that one was the one she had, not that part. Special in itself, increasing combat power. Oh, come on, again that.
them if I can't. more things here. Switch them. Oh. Okay, let's, let's just stop this. It's the trial, so change information. No, that's the same thing as... Ah, oh, those are the ones that will be unlocked there. Okay. Opposing. Ah, oh, so here I fight those instead of... Hmm. I'll kind of be on the other side of what our defense. Dear folks, Mechanicus Beast Tamers must direct their Lufungi to defeat the, all the Mechanica. Your Lufungi will automatically choose the nearest Mechanicus and attack it. We can use the white indicator lines to track the current target of. Okay. Uh, at the same time, the opposing mechanic will alter the Lufunga and close to it. Oh, with the red. Click on the avatars, choose use number keys, or directly click on the fungi to control them. Click on spot of fuel to direct the fungus so to the spot. Ah, so I can actually move them. Use the marvelous gels to instruct the fungus to unleash powerful skills. Okay, skills. You gain over time additional heals large star protections on the field to obtain additional Ah okay that was those feathers. And certain skills must have a target selected before it can be used. Okay. So the numbers ah. Okay. Oh, I need three. Got it. Is it using? Ah, I have to select. Okay. Let's see what the other levels will be. Mm, okay, so... How was it, Golden Comments? How did your first taste of Fungus Mechanicus gameplay go? Judging by your expression, I suppose you haven't come to a conclusion yet. Uh, I only went for one round, after all. That is true. With this little test content, it is indeed rather difficult to judge the strengths and flaws of Fungus Mechanicus. Don't worry, Mr. Honey and I will be here for a while and we will have one new mechanic stage for you every day. Seven in total. I hate that. That's why I can wait to do them all at once. Uh, come over whenever you have time and you get the opportunity to test those stages. Although you are the overall overseer in these matters, this game was something that Miss Henny and I came up with on of our own accord. So this is an expenditure of time that lies outside your place. As such, a fee will be provided to you for services rendered. Huh? Well, I won't say no to that. Uh, right to me? Uh, okay, that just means that I'll get paid, okay. You'll see the more I'm back next time we run this tournament. Very straightforward, I like it. I've applied for the two fungi to be furnished with sufficient residence privileges. So they'll be here in Port Ormos for half fungus mechanics testing phase. Your super companion can spend more time with Bongo Bongo too. Bongo Head too. Go for Paimon. Yes, you should go see Bongo Head as well. It misses you, you know? 
bring this with you. You can feel Bongo Head and can enjoy it. It's their favorite. Okay, so we will get there. Oh, this is in northern Port Ormos, but okay. Bongo Head can enjoy. Come on, Bongo Head, let's play a clapping game. So have hands. Come on, Kidon Jai, let's dance with Bongo Head. Uh, we've got a pretty familiar with Kidon Jai, but we still can't quite communicate as well with it as we can with Bongo Head. You are real happy being here, huh, Paimon? You're here. How are things going with the Fungus Mechanical Trials? The test period will still be on for a while yet. We can play with them every day before it concludes. Oh, so Henya and our Shroom Buddies will be here for a while, huh? That's great. If I was planning to ask you to stay here for a, few, for a day more so that we could spend more time with the fungi. But it looks like we can hit two birds with one stone, testing fungus mechanicals and playing with our Shroom Buddies at the same time. You have good care for your time with Paimon, but go ahead and there's not enough time to read any of that. That was great, but like Paimon's worries I have all flown away. Well, Bongo Head, can you join? See you tomorrow. Huh. Here you go. Hey there, Bongo Head, can you join? We're here to play with you. What shall we do together, the buddies? True buddies? Oh, we have the pop. Oh, let's feed them, shall we? Let's make some gestures at them, shall we? Let's use different sounds to call out to them. We'll come back later and feed them. Feed them. Sure, we had so much fun last time that we didn't notice the many marvelous jelly flavors available. Uh, let's pay a bit more attention to the ones the shows prefer, shall we? Is the Robert flavor jellies? Oh, so Bomb Head likes the Bomber flavor box, huh? Well, maybe we can squeeze lots of Bomber juice and let Bomb Head soak in them next time. On the other hand, seems like Kino Joy isn't that king. Maybe he doesn't like sweet stuff. That sure fits its personality. Uh, let's feed them. Being favored. I also like that. Hey, it looks like Mongo Head loves mint fresh flavors. I think you'll have tons of fun in a mint field. Uh, but it looks like Kinocha is not loving the cool flavors much. Let's feed them again. Uh, crab roll flavored gems. Uh, is this flavor really a thing? Can you sure get some interesting ideas? Oh, looks like Mo Head doesn't mind the flavor of the crab roll at all. You know, dry seems pleased too. Looks like crab rolls the happy meeting. Uh, it is kind of time consuming to make crab roll, but it's a small sacrifice to make for our buddies. Eh? Let's make some for them later. Once we know how to make marvelous jellies, we can whip up a great feast for them. Uh, let's make gestures at them. Uh, that's true, it seems some people can use simple hand gestures to make animals understand what they mean. Let's give it a go. With our bonds with our fungi friends, we should have no problem. Give our fungi friends a thumbs up. Right, Pam will do it. Two. Uh, thumbs up for good old bongo hands and hands some kind of joy. Looks like they're both mighty pleased. Let's give them more encouragement in the future. More gestures. Waggle your index finger around in a circle. Are asking them to turn around? Isn't that a bit complicated? No, I don't understand. Hmm. 
Oh, look, look at them go. They're so smart. It's almost like they're dancing. Maybe if Paimon dance too, Bongo Head will be willing to be Paimon's dance partner. No. No. Yeah, I clicked the wrong one. You mean that we would to try imitating other animals to see what sort of reaction we'll get from them? Come on, let's try that too. War? What kind of stuff is that? We're trying to imitate a sumter beast? I thought that would be a wish pull on tiger. Paimon's never heard the one before, though. So. Uh, looks like they're coming over. The fun I also stick to sumter beasts or warps when they feel cold. Yeah, let's go for the gesture, okay. Uh, put a Paimon with the right hand and left hand at your head. Oh, looks like Mongol Head's coming over to let Paimon pet it. Uh, Bukino Joy is... Oh, stop, stop. The Joy looks like it's about to jump on Paimon's head. Mm, okay. Let's call the boss. Meow. Oh, it's very careful. Huh? Alright, Paimon's joining. Uh, they seem kind of curious. Have they never seen a cat before? And I guess that just means we should introduce them to some in the future and help them make some new friends. Speaking of which, what do we call a cat that lives in the rainforest, a forest cat? Uh, if it makes friends with a fungi, that makes it a shrew cat. Okay, next one. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's not an animal we're imitating. You're going to make our shroom buddies nervous. Oh, there are some nice hilly trolls. See? They've been alerted now. Don't worry, don't worry. There are no hilly trolls around. He's just joking. I guess it means that shrooms can't help us keep watch while we're asleep. They are pretty reliable, huh? Uh, we'll come back later. Do we have something else to do? Well then, let's get to it quickly. Then we can get back and continue playing for we'll ahead Kino Joy. Yeah, but I think we've already played the menu. Judging by our faces, it seems like you two still have some questions, yes? Don't worry, you can be more casual with me. You've both helped me a great deal, so I'll tell you all I know. So, about keeping the fungi... Uh, yeah, that's what we wanted to ask about. We didn't take Bongo Head with us previously for fairness sake, so it wouldn't look like we were making ourselves the exception to the final decision. It's been some time since the tournament is told, so if we were able to communicate with our shroom buddies without having to rely on his own arms, we can keep Bongo Head with us, can't we? I have considered that as well, yes. Supposing that we could find a place in the body of other residents or animals, this will be fine in theory, uh, so I'll probably be able to take him to the Serenity Pot soon. Although our fungi friends are quite well behaved, they might be angered if challenged by animals like force boars. We have the Serenity Pot, the Rubble theme is quite spacious. But we do have guests and animals in there at times, don't we? We can move them around. Uh, Tubby would be really troubled if the fungi were to get into fights with the other animals. Perhaps we should ask Tubby first. Maybe she'd have some ideas. I'm also looking for new secret measures, such as road signs or fences that have special spores on them. That will cause fungi to automatically remain, with, remain within a specific area. We'll be able to make farms in the future, probably not now, but that would be cool. Perhaps we might be able to separate the living areas of the fungi from that of other animals, thus preventing conflict. That's great. If something looks particularly promising, I'll inform you right away. Alright then, let's all do our best. Thanks, honey. 
Okay, what was the next one? Tell me more about the Marvelous Jellies. Don't worry, I commissioned Miss Naja from the Amurta to make this. And they serve as rations for the fungi. This, the jellies don't contain any medicinal components, only nutritional ones. We can use the jellies to avoid the fungi absorbing too many nutrients from the soil, which will prevent them from spoiling rainforest ecosystems. Mm. We can also add components to the jellies according to the personalities of each fungus to improve their mood. Also, you can do that too. We can try to figure out Bongo Head's favorite flavor then. You want to give it a go, Paimo? I'd like to hear your review once you're done eating it. Now, floral jellies are a marvelous jellies. All look pretty delicious, but Paimo's not so hard up that she needs to eat food made for fungi. You eat slimes! Well, let's feed Bongo Head and he can enjoy some marvelous jellies later, shall we? We are at the deep. So, what are funny? I almost got the same concerns, have you? Have you encountered any lack of moral while taking care of the fungi all this time? Please do not worry. I can secure food via fishing and hunting in the rainforest, and our shroom buddies can get the nutrients they need from the soil. Isn't that what we're trying to avoid? Other than clothes, daily necessities, and the funds required to make marvelous jellies, I don't really have many expenses to worry about. I still have quite a large amount of savings left over from my work training Sumter Beasts for merchant, merchant caravans. I've got enough for decades even. Wow, so that's what it's like to be a professional beast tamer. If you need anything, just let us know. We'll do our best to support you. I appreciate the sentiment. I promise to take good care of our shun friends. As long as nothing goes awry, I won't add to your business, to your burdens. Uh, you know what? That's kind of reassuring. When the person comes around, let's treat Hanya to a nice meal plus some improved reparations for our fungi friends. Okay, buffer. Oh, great heroes, please feel free to play Fungus Mechanicus to your heart's content. Is there anything else I can do for you, by the way? Name it, and I shall do my best to answer the call. Okay, about the next tournament. Yeah, speaking of that, we've been waiting for news about the Wisdom Orbs all this time. It will take a year, at least, one least. But we haven't really thought of the arrangements of the next tournament through. Well, I'm not sure it will come up with, with a whole bunch of ideas when the time comes, so there's probably nothing to worry about. Indeed, in any case, I have prepared a great many contingencies, which I hope will meet your expectations. When the time comes, just use your jet mage, and should you encounter any troublesome trivial trivialities, leave them to me. I'll do some research myself, should I get the chance. Pam and I will organize the best, will be the best organizers, just you wait. In that case, Pam is gonna think about how to make the matches more exciting for the shrooms. Tell me more about the promotion of Fungus Mechanicus. I can rest assured about that. So. So the game is in its early test stages, it is open to all and anyone who wants can try, try it and make suggestions. I even extended invitations to some chess enthusiasts, academia students and Aramite mercenaries to test the game. We are going for the widest possible clientele coverage. Of course, your feedback shall be foremost amongst them and we will put priority on making changes according to any suggestions you make. make. Uh, the relevant people have been informed, so when the time comes, I will put the word out and increase the intensity of our advertising. Wow, this is so professional. Why am I starting to get confused? Well, we will just keep playing the game and give you our feedback so it can be the best it can be. 
and then with this game we will get everyone hyped up for the next Beast Tamers tournament. Looks like uh, looks like we've got lots of work to do. Okay, so now let's play. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's that. Okay. So I need to check that. Oh no, I got them all pretty rarely. With Zara, Rocksteady, Kino Joy, Gustav Frost, Magic Shroom, Storm Stress, Storm Sage. Enjoy, Full Boys Really Really, Team of Layla. Uh, they want a certain fried tofu with all the frills. Uh, uh, party of hardy two blades. Uh, from each one of them. Anya, War of Bigfoot, I, I, Lenak Dash, uh, Soka, uh, Name by Soka. Okay, so. Those two, I think, are kind of new, and the others I probably fought. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Let's see. No more than two over three days, and computer thing 240. Okay. Why there's one with. Using flame, basic. Power mechanics coming in very, very considerable damage. Uh, flame of punch, enhanced uh, power mechanics, and we'll really see the damage. It's an extreme threat to the fungi. Uh, explodes after a short time, casting time. Uh, but if I had a healer here, I'll probably be fine. Uh, Yeah, those things were kind of indestructible in in the other. Is a pyro weak against water, I'm supposing, but <laughs> they Yeah, they probably are.
Hmm. So. Water, power, power, electric. I think that's new. The smaller equal to. Control close. Okay, that's after I think. Can I open here? I oh, know it has to be okay. Restores some certain amount of HP. Rapid true. While grass bullets fire, use the little fungus with the lowest HP in the party. Okay.
don't I use the full muscle. No, 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 no. Okay, oh, that's new. What's that? Basically, please make it accessible by usable by your phone guy that is capable of delivering fantastic power attacks. Ah, huh. okay, not exactly. Use. Um, if you activate a trap, are you using the trap? Yeah, I guess the technique are so, yeah. It is usable by fungi, but I, I'm not sure I would call that. Mm. Oh, you will lose this one there for maybe. Uh, something haste, a little mystery, haste for needs, healing. Um, Okay, let's try you. And Pyro Pyro. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, a special device represents their stages. Command the Fungi to claim this device for some additional support during the check. Okay, so it grants more power damage to the fungi, not to the
killed it. Oh, I lost one. That's fine. Hovers above the plane, which is real damage should be dealt to nearby mechanic. Okay. okay. Um, first up, projector, then physical. Okay. Okay. I have plenty of heroes here. Yeah, but I don't have much of a strategy here or anything. Oh, I didn't even know that one fell. Okay.
get out of there. You're the healer. That was fast. The last one though. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay, oh, a new thing on the last one. What was that? Uh, we're supposed to other mechanic enhance their power. Uh, and if you want over about this mechanics, the mechanics will be deactivated and you will play more marvelous gels. Okay. Uh, I like what I see. Let's go down again. Done. That was quite fast. Mm -hmm. Done. 
I maxed out one thing is probably here. And I have to activate that. Day. <laughs> Thank you for your work these past few days. Let me call me Ignis and Silver Companion. I've loved all your games, and we've been able to gather lots of data from your game records. You fall under the category we call Pinnacle class players, and I, and I believe that between you and normal testers, we'll be able to come up with some stable improvement directives. Of course, we'd also like to hear what, you're, what you thought of the game overall, and if you have any suggestions in that regard. Your feedback will not only have a positive impact on fungus mechanics, but will also affect the next tournament to some extent. Finally, we'd like to hear about your general preferences. Would you prefer novelty or more competitive aspects? Uh, so that's a survey. Uh, I prefer to emphasize cooperation between companions and partial towards the elegance and drill of combat. Not partial to anything, let's just do something enjoyable. Well, yeah, maybe something like that, because I didn't have much of a strategy. I was just attacking with whatever was available and trying to heal when I remembered. Right, competitive classes are really important, sure, but we prefer that future challenge tests the bond between us and our fungal friends. Bonds, huh? Alright, I understand. Mr. Buffer, do you remember what I told you about the most important idea? Understood, I shall endeavor to design more challenges that will test your coordination with other one another, where effective communication will allow you and your fungal friends to unleash your true potential. Same as always, huh? you too. Regardless, that's it for this round of Fungus Mechanicals test. Don't forget our salary. Thanks for your hard work. Nice. Now that we're done with this work, it's time to collect our pay and get some food to reward ourselves. Wait, that's not right. We're the organizers of the next tournament, while Hanya and Buffer are making preparations for it. Hanya is our awesome assistant and Buffer is also being employed by us. Does that mean we'll have to uh, pay our employees for their hard work and stuff? Oh no, that's not necessary. In fact, there's two kind of you. I volunteered to do this job, and I learned a lot from it too. I mean, I'm someone from a mercantile industry as well, so the experience of managing fungus mechanics has been quite valuable to me. If this work were to be open to the public, I'm quite sure you have no lack of offers from people who like to buy the rights to it, to be honest. Then once Fungus Mechanical starts turning in a profit, Mr. Balfour should make his investment back and a large portion of the profits will go to me. I will then set a portion of that aside for use as funds for the next tournament. And another portion will be used to take care of our strong friends. And by that, I don't just mean Bogohead, but also fungi that the other contestants have interested to me, like Shroom Stress. In other words, the improvements you are helping us make to Fungus Mechanicals will not only make us all a tiny profit, but will also go into securing welfare for the fungi. Oh, so that's it. Well, Paimon doesn't get all this profit and earning stuff, but it, it sounds like a wrong way, so... Uh, Paimon's feeling that sense of accomplishment already. If we get the chance, Ignus, we should tell our friends in Sumeru about Fox mechanics. Let's spread the word and everything. Of course, of course. I'll be heading out of the city with our fungi friends to meet up with my assistant. 
and then we return to our campsite. The fungi who stay at the campsite will get worried if you are away for too long. Mr. Balfour will stay here to promote the test version of Fungus Mechanicus, so if you're if you're not yet had your fill of fun, you can keep playing. Indeed, play to your heart's content. Oh, you're going ready, Hanya, with Bongo Head and rest? But we still want to play with Bongo Head. But meeting you again has definitely put time at ease. It was especially great to see that our shroom buddies are alright as rain, and they were just as tight as we used to be. Don't worry, I believe we'll meet again soon. So, the two of you are constantly traveling, I do have some means of contacting you. For example, we can send you letters through the Adventurers Guild. I'm sure that when we next meet, our friends will be both healthy and hearty. Just hang tight and wait for good news from me. Yeah, they could have helped a little bed next to Port Ormos, where the fungus are just hanging out there. Yeah, I believe you, Henya. Keep, keep up the good work, take care of your friends, and don't forget to take care of yourself, keep up the good work. We'll see you next time, then. Go and comment and see your companion. And that's it. But for your funding, that's right. If I hadn't mentioned yet, if I'm totally forgotten during the first tournament, we were attracted by the bee. Uh, we were attracted by the big tournament, which also had a sweet prize. So that means that we'll also have to prepare a tidy sum for the next tournament, won't we? That way we can motivate people to aim for the top, which is where the best prizes will be. We will also have to rent the venue, hire the staff, and all this stuff gonna cost more. Uh, are we really gonna have to fork over all eight figures of it? Uh, now that you're now you're speaking my language, not to worry. I will be on the hunt for sponsors in the lead up to the next tournament. We are talking about something along the lines of several dozen merchants helping out, helping to put up funds for it to be held. As for remuneration, we will just have to provide them with the equivalent amount of exposure. After all, many merchants place great emphasis on, advertise on the advertisement potential that popular competitive events have. I understand. That does sound like pretty reasonable. If things go well, raising funds this way means that everyone wins. This field of work can be considered my specialty. Just Give the OK and I'll start sponsor hunt. Of course, I'll investigate the status of our sponsors very carefully before organizing it into chart for your perusal. We will indeed have to be quite selective. We'll definitely have to without any people with new intent. Understood, vigilance will be the watchword, especially after what happened last night. We'll be coming on you then, Bob, for Ah, uh, he's so good at this job, he could get some sponsors for my adventures. After all, they are quite famous. Well, that was it. We're done. Yep. Uh, let me try... Uh, I actually tried for the Chocobo Boy. Got it. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm out.